Tulsa Public School kids are back in class this week after winter break, but it's already time to start thinking about next school year as well. So Tulsa Public School Superintendent Dr. Ebony Johnson is here to talk more about that and what's ahead in this new year, now 2024. Good morning, Dr. Johnson. Good morning, Dave. How are you? I'm doing well. You know, just starting off with this year, school year so far with Dr. Gist leaving, the accreditation, everything that's happened, how have you managed to keep everything in the ship going forward and everything moving in the right direction? Well, I'll tell you, I um, am super, super appreciative of having an amazing team that undergirds my leadership. And so just making sure that we stay super laser-like focused on student achievement and putting our students and families first. And that's pretty much guided how we've worked through the 23 school year, super pumped about the 24 school year. Um, we have great plans and we are working those plans. What gives you the optimism about 2024 that, hey, you know, we're reporting every month to OSDE. We have this list of things, including financial transparency. What is telling you that you're able to achieve those, you're going to be able to achieve those? Yeah, we're pretty excited about our last presentation to the Oklahoma State Department of Education. We received feedback from um, Superintendent Walters regarding the information that we shared and that that information was received well, that we did hit the areas in which the State Department truly wanted to both understand and hear more about. And so it tells us that we're definitely going in the right direction when it comes to the outlined areas in which we must adhere to. So, and then of course, when we're in our buildings and we're talking with our school leaders and we're seeing our teachers in action teaching our students every day and the faces of our young people both the little ones the big ones and then the even bigger ones at the high school um, smiling and being happy and learning and thriving we know that we're in the right we're going in the right direction so the largest school district in Oklahoma you still need to enroll. The enrollment expo is really important because especially you're trying to get into school. You know, you, you can't just show up. There's an enrollment process. There's something yes. that's very important that people need to do. Tell us about the enrollment expo, why it's important. I will, Dave. I'm excited because it kicks off on Saturday. So we're very appreciative of the University of Tulsa for sponsoring our enrollment expo. It will be at the Chapman building where our families can come. They can actually hear from 77 different school leaders who will be present with tables and information. We will have community partners there. Students who need immunizations and different resources will be able to get those all in one area. Um, and so we're super excited. You know, our families definitely need the opportunity to plan early. They need to know our options. They need to have the ability to ask questions, get information and set up times to go to schools and tour um, and just understand our materials and that we really do take their child's education serious. We welcome them to Tulsa Public Schools. We want our families to choose us. We're proud to be the largest school district in the state of Oklahoma. Mm. TulsaSchools.org slash enroll, the website. Yes. We want to make sure that we tell people that so you can go to the website, get all the information, TulsaSchools.org slash enroll. One more thing. So the need to enroll, because people will say, hey, well, it's, it's free public school. Like I can just show up day one. But there's some things like universal pre-K. You need to get in there if you want the school for your child to get free pre-K, right? Absolutely. It is a, um, we have many great options in Tulsa Public Schools, mm -hmm. but in some of our schools, it's a competitive um, set of enrollment. Um, we have magnet programs, we have dual language programs that our families seek out early on, and so it's critically important that you do make it to um, our enrollment fair, and then we have a full enrollment window. So our enrollment window goes until February the 16th, and so our families can enroll between that Saturday all the way up until the 16th um, for our enrollment period. It's important because you definitely want to use your options. Our parents and our families get six options mm -hmm. and so those options get ranked based on how you are matched with what's best fit for your child and so we want our families to have all those options and it's important that you adhere to the window. Dr. Ebony Johnson with Tulsa Public Schools, thank you so much for joining us. Have Thanks a great 2024. Thanks Dave, I appreciate it. Thank you.